Good morning. Good morning, Sarahs. My name is Caitlin. And I'm Malik, and this is St. Rose Live HD. Your daily dose of everything happening here at St. Rose High School. On today's edition, we'll have your daily announcements, the morning prayer, and the Pledge of Allegiance, and more on this edition of St. Rose Live for Tuesday, March 21st, 2017. Today's schedule is reverse. It's now time for this morning's prayer, so please put yourself in the presence of God, clear your mind, open your heart, and please stand for this morning's prayer. Audio Jungle. A reflection by Catherine Flynn based on Psalm 89. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. God puts us on earth with a purpose. We are all meant to be here, whether it is to be with teach others about the Lord in religious life or to start a f and care for a family. We are all destined for greatness if we follow the path the Lord has created for us. David has professed his loyalty to the Lord in which he responded, My mercy is established forever. My faithfulness will stand as long as the heavens. If we all put our trust and loyalty into the Lord, he will, he will reward us, but it may be hard. Hard to rely on the Lord for every aspect of our lives, but as we each personally grow in our faith, that beloved trust, that beloved trust will come easier to us, and our relationship with God will be frictionless. Frictionless. The Lord has a plan of greatness for each and every one of us, but we must take the leap of faith, knowing He will catch us. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. St. Rose, today's Tuesday, March 21st, 2017, and today's schedule is reverse. And the art student department and students will be heading to the Teen Arts Festival in Brookdale. Oh, wait. Oh, that already happened. That's okay, old. never mind that. <laughs> Cut it. On Wednesday, March 22nd, Acoustic Spirituality will meet uh, meets to discuss spiritual elements in popular and contemporary music. Join us in room 104 at 245. Snacks will be provided. Join us to find out if those verses were from the book of Lamentations or Taylor Swift songs. For Magnify, there will be a meeting this Wednesday during the each lunch period. We will be discussing the sorrowful mysteries of the Rosary. If you have any questions about the Rosary, then check this week's meeting. We will begin in the Little Theater 15 minutes after each lunch begins. The Wild Goose will be meeting this week on Tuesday and Thursday in room 104, beginning at 2.45. The program will conclude by 4 o'clock. For Friday Outreach, there is Friday Outreach this week. All participants must have their permission slips signed and returned to their religion teacher by 2.30 on Thursday to participate. We will be distributing food bags in Asbury Park this week. Participants are allowed to dress down. The St. Rose St. Vincent de Paul Society is looking for some help at this Friday's fish, to fish, to fish fry. They need, they need a few students to serve as food runners, bringing food from the parking lot into the cafeteria. They will need help from 4.30 until 7. See Mr. Petrillo for more information. Alteration will be meeting at a new time and location, Mondays during lunch. Join us on Monday, March 27th, which is today, I think, right? No. no next week. <laughs> the, the, journey into the, the journey into the Mass continues. Have you lost weight as a result of your fasting this Lent? What about your rice, what about your rice bowl? <laughs> No, is it still hungry? Don't forget to make a contribution to support the Catholic Revi Relief Services. Your donations go a long way. The week, this week, students will be coming around during lunches and encouraging you to help the billion plus people who live on less than a dollar a day. The junior class retreat is Tuesday, March 28th. You will be bused from the school t to the retreat at St. William the Abbot Church in Howell. The retreat will end in time for you to be bused back to St. Rose for regular busing and after-school activities. 
We are allowed to dress down wearing a St. Rose-issued shirt. We will be bringing a bag lunch. Our theme will be the Eucharist. Join us for a special edition of Cinematic Spirituality. On Wednesday, March 29th, we'll be watching Liberating a Continent, John Paul II and the Fall of Con Communism. St. John Paul II has had a lasting impact on the Church's uh, teachings and on the face of the papacy. He traveled the world more than any other pontiff and would not allow his Parkinson's disease to stop him from serving the Church. A lesser known story of this great saint's life is in his conf confrontation with communism. If you are interested in watching the film, please see Mr. Petrillo's location depends on how many participate. As always, snacks will be provided. Cinematic spirituality begins at 2.45 and will conclude at 5 o'clock. Finally, the boys' tennis team will be held today at Matacuchi Park from 3 to 4.30. Again, boys' tennis will be held today at 3 to 4. And those are your daily announcements. If you missed any of today's announcements, you can check the, hall, the monitors in the hallway and in the cafeteria, or log on to St. Rose website and rewatch our show. It's now time for your daily trivia question of the day. See if you and your classmates can answer today's trivia question. Second trivia. What do elm, pine, and hickory trees all have in common? Are they all evergreen, deciduous, cone-bearing, or pollen-producing? These trees are all pollen producing and springtime is their season. <laughs> okay. It's considered one of the most dangerous drugs in the world. It factors in heavily to the heroin epidemic we've reported in the U.S., but it's also blamed for deaths in Europe, Africa, and Australia. Fentanyl. Fentanyl. Fent fentanyl. fentanyl. fentanyl is a man-made painkiller. The United Nations recently put restrictions on some of the chemicals used to make it. It says fentanyl is the strongest painkiller in existence for medical use. But then it's also highly addictive and especially dangerous when abused because it's so powerful. Many times stronger than even heroin itself. Fentanyl can be found only in pharmacies, now showing up in counterfeit pills. Much of what's being sold on the black market contains fentanyl. It's the most... It's much more potent than prescription medications and it's killing people who take it. One challenge for U.S. officials who are trying to stop its spread, the actual machines used to make the pills. They're arriving on American shores in a record number and they're contributing to overdoses in every corner of the country. It's happening all over the country. In New Mexico, in Florida, in California. People are dying from counterfeit pills made with a dangerous synthetic drug called fentanyl. A drug that's 25 to 50 times stronger than heroin, up to 100 times more potent than morphine. People have died from ingesting what they think is a legitimate painkiller, and it's a counterfeit pill that contains fentanyl. The death of pop icon Prince could turn out to be the most famous case of counterfeit pills. Police reportedly found mislabeled pills laced with fentanyl in his home. The drug was found in his system. This is the tool drug dealers are using to make those pills, turning synthetic powder into something that looks just like prescription meds. If you have counterfeit pills, you can't make them without pill presses. As the DEA's John Martin shows CNN, pill presses are simply bought off the internet. Most come from China. Here's a, uh, a large industrial one uh, for almost $5,000. The machines make pills so deceivingly accurate, even veteran agents have trouble telling the difference. The machines themselves are not illegal, but buying them without proper registration is. The number of illegal imports has spiked 19-fold since 2011. So you just put the product in here, and then you turn it, and then it shoots out of you. This was seized? This was seized, yes, and this machine came from China. Cheryl Davies leads the anti-terrorism contraband team at America's largest seaport in Long Beach, California. Finding pill presses among millions of tons of goods is no small challenge. One container here is processed every 7.8 seconds. Customs and Border Protection opened up its secret warehouse for CNN, showing us the seized pill press machines with investigations underway to see whether they were legally imported. We see a variety of machines. They range from manual little machines that you can make one or two at a time, all the way up to machines that can generate 170,000 per minute. Huge industrial size machines. With all the overdoses that we're seeing, the increase in overdoses over the last couple years, I think these types of interceptions are extremely important. 
can have a lot of impact on our communities. The ones they don't catch end up in places like this, Lubbock, Texas. Police raid and find a tabletop pill press and nearly seven pounds of synthetic fentanyl. It's so dangerous, even to touch, that agents have to get into full hazmat gear. The DEA's John Martin says pill presses have made it easier for drug dealers to make millions of dollars out of their homes. They're going to get on the dark net. They will order uh, fentanyl or some type of fentanyl-related compound. It usually comes from China. The setup is, is relatively cheap. For five to six thousand dollars, Martin says, someone could potentially sell ten million dollars of fake pills. Pills that can be deadly. It's almost like playing Russian roulette. It's extremely dangerous. Sarah Ganim, CNN, Long Beach, California. Of the day. Okay, what's related to a camel, smaller than a llama, and great for producing fleece? Yes, we're talking about an alpaca. Yep. We're talking about this you, is the alpaca. National alpaca show. This, this is the National Alpaca Show. This year's event just wrapped up in this Colorado, wrapped up in Colorado hundreds where hundreds of alpaca farms help provide people with everything from the fleece event, to the friendship. The, the event, the competition, the chance to take a selfie with an alpaca, it's all free. And that's today's of the day. do it for us today and this week. Thank you for watching this edition of St. Rose Live. We hope you enjoyed it. I'm Alec. And I'm Caitlin. Have a great day here at St. Rose. Uh, at St. Rose. Remember, no school tomorrow. Oh, yes, forget, we do cut have school that. Tomorrow. Cut that. No, forget that. <laughs> forget it. Bye. Have a good day. We'll see you on Monday.